Okay, so you have a EV system service required uh, error on your on your dashboard. How to know if uh, what's this error on your Outlander PHEV? So what you need is a laptop, and also you need to have a dealer's diagnostic tool, which is a Mutri. So basically, Mutri is very simple. One cable goes to your OBD port and the other cable is your usb cable so first thing first plug in your mutri diagnostic tool in your outlander feb uh, obd port which is located here okay so that's now plug in and then the usb port plug it in on your laptop there and then open your uh, laptop so once you plug in your obd cable your mutri will uh, turn on and it will have some lights and make sure that your outlander is on ready mode or ignition uh, on but i prefer to be uh, it's on ready mode so that it won't discharge but least. As you can see, uh, ACC service required and also EV system service required. Okay, so how to check that on your Mutri? So let's log in. Okay, and then open the Mutri SE. Oh, sorry. Okay, so let's open it again. Mutri. Okay, so open again. Okay, so that's our Mutri SE. And uh, we need to go here on STV. STV there. Okay, and then click OK. And there you go. So this is our car's details. So Outlander. 2020 and basically this is what the mutri looks like so on the left side are your system list so these are different uh modules ecus uh, for example this etox so that's the etox module where it controls your lightings and all other accessories so everything and then you have there also the phev module uh, ev module onboard charger module battery management unit modules and, and everything so you see lots of it and then the rear motor control unit also there okay but uh today what we're gonna do is just check the dtc error code of our car because we have a ev system required error on our outlander Okay, so to check the DTC, all you need to do is click this all DTC, but uh, we have to select our audio. So if you have a, an infotainment, you can select uh, uh, intelligent display. But since my infotainment is already uh, Android head unit, so as you can see, it's a very good Android head unit. So I select there a not equipment okay so once we selected the not equipment there we can now select the all dtc that means it will check all the, the uh, diagnostic trouble code so we have two options here read dtc and erase dtc we have to read first so that we will know what specific system it is so now it you have an option to unselect all the modules and you have your car details there uh, so that uh, our uh, DTC reading will be fast, I will disable, I will untick this power gate module there and multi around monitor because we're not using any more a stock OEM uh, radio. So we will uncheck that and this one will uncheck that so that it will be fast. And then we'll click, we'll click this uh, check box here, all DTC, okay. 
now it's now reading all the modules and if it can find all the DTC trouble codes it will be listed in here so let's wait now it can see ACC system fail detected C1776 and P1048 rear motor shutdown so basically let's look where did uh, he found out what specific module this one occurs okay so all DC DTC checks completed we'll just click OK that so let's click here so let's see so everything okay 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 here so ACC adaptive cruise control DC trouble code so that's uh, for this one adaptive cruise control then says here active and then let's look what module is this P1048 rear motor shutdown circuit okay let's scroll down okay there you go PHEV so under PHEV it's selected there okay because we know this error code uh, I can get rid of that by erasing so uh, what I need to do is I'll need to go back here then select the erase and read all DTC okay and then same thing I will untick the power gate so that it will be fast and multi around let's close that one then let's pick check all DTC okay cool so it's currently now erasing all the trouble codes that it can find on every module you can see there so it's still active that should be fine so be lock racing and after that okay done so let's click OK now we have to shut down the car it's off and then turn it back on not go back to ready mode you have to go back again and then read all DTC and tick that and tick multi it around read click all and it should I think it should still show the ACC failed but it will now be stored so it's now stored that means it's not active anymore and then also the rear motor control unit fail has, is gone because we already erased it previously. So what we can do, uh, because it's stored already, that means it's already uh, fixed. We can click OK, go back, and then read DTC. And then same thing, untick power gate, multi around my door. And then erase, click OK, and then it will now erase all the errors from the ACC uh, active cruise control that we've uh, found a while ago so let's just wait for that to finish and then after after that we confirm that everything has been erased so all DTC done our last check will be read all DTC just to confirm that there's no more uh, diagnostic trouble codes showing Okay, okay, good. Okay, so this is our final step. Then we should be all good to go. Okay, it's now checking, checking the RMCU. That's a rear motor control unit, which we have a DTC trouble code previously before. And it's done. Let's just click OK. So it's done now if we take a look at our dashboard there's no more trouble code see so that's it so that's how you uh, check your DTC trouble code on your Mitsubishi Outlander PHEB using the Mitsubishi Mutri uh, diagnostic uh, software for Outlander PHEV. All good.